Our hope and prayer for this podcast is that our content will meet you right where you are and leave a spark that only God can fan based on His Word. We will give credit where credit is due when we remember. Most of our content is based on our life experiences and training, not to be substituted for the Word of God in your life. Welcome to the Connected Heart Podcast. We are two Christian women here to laugh, have some fun, and engage in authentic conversations that lean into the power of connecting with God. Because thinking about God and thinking with God are not the same things. Hello, welcome to back to the Connected Heart Podcast. I'm Martha Scholes. And I'm Sandy Slough. And we're thrilled that you're joining us again. This is episode number two which we are very excited about. <laughs> yes, it's amazing. We, we're excited that we got one done. Listen, this <laughs> podcast thing is a whole lot harder than I thought it was. So I have to give a shout out to all the podcasters out there that make it look so easy that you just sit down in a microphone and let it rip because... This is much harder than it looks. So, well, and because I've informed you that I'm the backup singer, oh, it was actually easier than I thought it would be. So there you go. Well, there you go. But your <laughs> your uh, your solo's coming, sister. So uh-oh, you uh-oh. we're going to talk about that today, and you're going to be up front and at the <laughs> microphone, and I'll be back going like this is a piece of cake. I don't know what Sandy's all in an uproar about. <laughs> so I I think. Uh, I think we're ready to roll here, though, and I'm exciting. So our uh, opening segment here on my morning walk. Hey, yeah, what happened? So first of all, I'm so grateful here in San Antonio because it was about, I think it was 71 degrees this morning. I had to go back and put on a sweatshirt. Awesome. It was very exciting, very exciting. And uh, so, yeah, things were happening in the neighborhood uh, this morning. Uh, my favorite middle schooler, I was waiting for him. I was waiting for him. He came busting out of his house, running. I mean, running for the bus. And it was touch and go. Wasn't sure if he was going to make it or not. And he was he was starting to run out of steam and, you oh, know, no. get was a little the... stitch in his side. I was like, oh, man, I don't know. Was the bus but, inching forward? Oh, yeah. It was coming. You could hear the brakes, Uh-oh. but he made it. So I was like, there we go. It's going to be a great day. <laughs> but I just love to see the dynamics of the kids at the bus stop. It's like my favorite thing. But uh, everything else, everybody, all the walkers were smiling and all excited this morning because we've had a break in our wonderful weather. Well, you know, when there's a 20 degree drop, Oh yeah, it is an exciting day. It is here an in exciting San, day. San Antonio, so true, so true. So, um, I understand that you have a segment you would like to slip in to our podcast. I do, and the segment I I'd like to like you have on the, the morning, morning walk. walk. Yep, I'd like to have a curious questions segment. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are you ready for this? Well, I don't know if I'm really ready because you're the deep thinker and I'm not. So the great thing is, from what I understand, is that people will be able to leave comments. So oh. maybe they'll be able to answer your question if I can't or if I if you just stump me beyond. Okay. Well, here is my curious question of the day. Okay. So my husband's been working on a renovation, a furniture renovation project. Yes. Which this is not his first. It's like about his third okay. in recent history. Okay. And so my curious question is, why when men of the house do any type of project, <laughs> does it require a new tool? Oh. <laughs> I mean, oh, you know, yes, the garage is full of tools. Yes. But there's always just that one missing tool. So I'm curious about that. Well, I think that they like to go to Lowe's or Home Depot to bond oh. with the other workers. I, I don't know. Now, at our house, we look at the project 
and we estimate how many trips it's going to (laughs) take. Is it a one tripper? Is it a two tripper? Ooh, that's a three tripper. (laughs) So, you know, hard to know. Hard to know. Okay, well, I'm really glad that this is the question because I thought you were going to go deep theological like, oh, I'm going to absolutely bust her sparkle brain. (laughs) Jeez. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to. No, okay. no, no, absolutely not. Okay. So I mean, it's just basic life questions. I've got two I could share today. Okay, we'll go ahead. I'm just really curious. Why do you park in a driveway and drive on a parkway? Seriously? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, we will ponder that. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be a little rougher than I thought when you were like, oh, I have this idea. Okay, this is really good. But actually, the the point of our podcast today, we do have a point. Is oh, that not we? true? Okay, yeah, we do. We do have yeah, a point. Yeah, enough silliness. No, it's it's all good. It's all good. Well, Sandy, you are going to be leading a very exciting class that is starting next Monday, the 16th. Of uh, September. And I am very excited about it. Yeah. I it, It's really a passion um, topic of mine. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I am excited for us to lean into the uh, big question. You know, as a coach, you usually ask a couple of questions. Who are you and how do you want to show up in the world, right? That's right. the coaching questions, Question. the general ones, right? And so that question of who are you, mm-hmm. it's a deep question. And it's one of those that I think it's important that we really consider who we are, Mm -hmm. because a lot of times we spend a lot of time focused on what we do instead of who we are. And you and I have had this fun discussion about Mary and Martha in the Bible, right? And you have some real feelings about that, being that your name is Martha. I truly do. But that could be a whole podcast. In it itself. could be. And it might yeah. be in the future. Because, I mean, we get tripped <laughs> yeah. up with that. But right. so often we spend so much time on our human doings, and we forget that we're human beings. And go. so we're really going to delve into that idea of who are we? Mm-hmm. How does God see us? And because of that, now what? Right. Right. That's really what it is. And it's a it's really an ongoing conversation about uh, how do we live our life in light of who the Creator says we are. Oh, I love that. I love that. And, you know, one of uh, the points that you and I have talked about um, when we talked about, well, we've, we, need a, we need foundational topics mm-hmm. that apply to truly everyone. Now, we are two women doing a podcast, but this really applies to to all believers, uh, and of who we are, because through these seasons of our lives, we tend to lose our identity, that different um, things will happen in our lives that really shift things and make you question who, who you really are. And not so much the what you do, you know, Mm -hmm. graduating from schools, you know, uh, getting married, the the big milestones that you would think would happen. But then there's there's just times in your life where you do you just get you get lost in life. And so part of what we want to do is help people refocus and see themselves through God's eyes, right? Absolutely. And, you know, you bring up those milestones in life. It's really a lifelong, ongoing thing. Yes. You know, when you think about it, it's that that elementary kiddo mm-hmm. that knew who they were in elementary school, you know, and by fifth grade, you're, you're top man on the totem pole right. in your elementary school, and you feel all safe and secure, and then you head off to middle school. And then that's a whole new situation because now you got hormones involved and you've got all kinds of things going Mm -hmm. on. And not only are parents, both dads and moms, navigating their own uh, identity shifts, but they're also helping their children navigate those choppy waters. Absolutely. And really trying to keep the creator's point of view at the center 
while allowing for that growth and that evolution, if you will. Because mm-hmm. I think until the day that we die and leave this earth, we're going to be continually evolving. I hope so. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're either growing or dying and giving the two choices. I, I think I'll... Well, I'll choose growth, yeah, right? Right. And so growing is learning and learning is changing. Absolutely. And that's what's always happening with our identity. And unless we have something solid to anchor into, we can get a little lost in those waves. Absolutely. Absolutely. I always think of the stories of the Olympic athletes. And since we just finished the Summer Olympics, where um, these elite athletes have done nothing but focus on this one event. And that when it's all over, sometimes, as they say, after, you know, 3.2 seconds, it's over. And then they all start again on this, what am I going to do? And who am I? And th- it's a it's a big, a big issue. And uh, so I'm, I'm always listening for those for those interviews, because I find it fascinating that so many people will hit the absolute pinnacle of their careers at different different types of careers, but then how empty they feel. And because their uh, identity is misplaced. Absolutely. So. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to address that in one of the weeks. Good. Is that um, those identity, um, what did I call them? I called them thieves, identity thieves. Yeah. Right? And that they there are things that come into our life and we allow that to be what's forming our identity. Again, missing out on the anchor piece mm-hmm. that's always there, that's been there since the day of our creation in our mother's wombs. Mm-hmm. And and it's the silent unknown piece kind of, right? Absolutely. And when we begin to explore that and understand it, mm-hmm. it really uh, helps us stay anchored when we don't win the gold medal. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. <laughs> right? Because yeah. you think about those athletes, and I love the Olympics. Oh, I like, do too. I am a, I'm an Olympic junkie. Yes. And when you think about how much they've trained, <sighs> and then to see them not get that prize. You know, I'm also a Food Network junkie. Do you watch Food Network at all? That would be no, my Oh, okay. Okay. My own kid learned how to cook from watching that because <laughs> she did not have a good role model in the kitchen, but that's okay. Okay. I have like, other strengths. <laughs> but like they have all these competition cooking shows, right? Uh-huh. And so one of the ones I watch is Beat Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay being an amazing chef. Uh And what my husband and I were talking about last night, we were watching an episode of it. And what I noticed about him is he's competitive, crazy competitive, but he's also good at not winning. Like some people are not good when they don't win. Like they show that in a way that's like begrudging or I don't know the word, you yeah. know, kind of mean. Yes. But he's like, okay, okay, I got bested by you. I can see that. I can accept that. And I can learn from that. And sometimes if you watch enough of those episodes, you'll see him use something he learned from a different chef Oh, in a future competition. Oh, well, good. Right? Yeah. And so it's that opportunity. Am I really losing or is am I learning? Yeah. Right? Is every opportunity a learning opportunity? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the fact that I lost at Candyland last night. Oh. Yeah. 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 It was it was a rough one. It was a rough one. So my granddaughter won like three (laughs) times and I wasn't even letting her win. Oh. But I was trying to be a good sport and I was trying to model being a good good loser. Were you feeling a little sad? Uh, no, I was trying to figure out how a four-year-old was beating me at this. <laughs> well, then you could have switched to shoots and ladders where no one ever, ever wins. wins. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I'll have to. Re- I'll have to remember that. I'll have to remember that. So, um, anyone that is interested in signing up for this class, we are doing it uh, in person on Mondays here at our wonderful Heights Community Church in our annex. And it's from 1130 to 1 for six weeks. Absolutely. And some of you are thinking, what? How am I going to have lunch? 
Well, just bring it bring with your you. lunch. Bring your lunch. It's yeah. it's a lunch and learn, if you will. There you go. There you go. There's our there's <laughs> the word we were looking for. Lunch and learn. Lunch there and regard. learn. Yeah. Yeah. And so then, I mean, seriously, you you can feel free to bring a lunch along with you. Okay. There is no Good. lunch provided, even Correct. though it is in those at that time frame. Right. But feel free to come on and bring a lunch. Um, and if you work and you're able to slip away for that amount of time. We understand if you, you know, if you're just having to leave right at right. a certain moment because you're going back to work, you're welcome to join us live as well. But if you can't join us live, what can they do? Oh, we have an online uh, version that we are doing Monday evenings from 7 to 8 p.m. And uh, you do have to sign up for that one as well to get the link. Okay. It will be in the show notes, correct? Oh, that's exciting. That's even okay. better. Yeah. That's even so better. Because Daniel's got our back and he's going to he make does. sure he does. that everybody has the right link. That's right. That's. But that you definitely have to sign up for the Zoom so yes. that we know how many to expect and so that you can have the link in advance. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this is exciting. I am uh, really looking forward to it, ladies uh, or men, whoever wants to uh, sign up, we'd love to have you. So please sign up so we know you're coming and we can be prepared. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Well, thank you again uh, for joining us on this episode number two of uh, The Connected Heart. Mm-hmm.